put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, Night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago. But he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business. And that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing. And it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Bulletproof. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Bruce, the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your plan. implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. by this gentleman. Nice head kick. Lee's kick is blocked. Liver kick 
these guys really throwing with authority. with that right hand, it's no good. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with, we'll see very shortly. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. to work the body here. Big leg kick lands. Whiffs on that offering. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. He's determined to land as many leg kicks as he can in this fight. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he'd stand up right I mean, when you can hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Head kick blocked. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Just missed on the front kick there. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, there's the end of the round, and you've gotta be in a serious flow to not just execute that Superman punch, but to even attempt it. To even try it, you gotta be really in your rhythm. Everything has to be going perfectly, as we saw in the lead up to that attack. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Big kick. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. 
Just out of range with the big right hand. And over and over, he landed a big body kick. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Some nice back and forth action here. And he landed the right hand there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Nice one, two there. Now going upstairs with the left hook. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Can't take many of those. You better check. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice punch lands over the top. Not there. Nice defense there, huge block. A combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any help when he's going to throw a knee. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he's... Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! And he continues to work the body here. Let's go, let's get oh, there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh! All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most... Oh. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Oh, he might be out. What a round. What a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you are one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off, and my foot would be slippery, <laughs> wet or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. You ready? Yes, they heard him in the last 
round. Same exact one. Nice strike. I mean, he's cutting it down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Able to check that kick as well. Oh! Oh! Over the top. This fight's gonna be over this year. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay in the court. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Back and forth we go here! Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about the jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after him, he may be able to finish his fight. Well, as my favorite rap group, Onyx, would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just... Oh! Oh! You see on that punch right there, his opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Try to establish that jab. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity, and the hands look phenomenal tonight. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just misses with that one. to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Lee. Big body. And there comes the separation now. Nice punch here. Oh, nice knee to the body. Strong to quite strong there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. The next with a right, and they separate. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Just out of range with that left hook. 
right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if it continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in this. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Out now. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Back to the feet now. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. All right, let's go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, four seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, Bullet Hill. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? This is going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check is going to be carrying to the club tonight.